Hi everybody, it's Billy here at Rambling Rose Studio. I'm an independent demonstrator for Stamping Up, and today I wanted to answer a question that I had gotten on my blog, and I couldn't believe someone would think that I wasn't using a Stampin' Up product, because if Stampin' Up has it, it's a great product and I always use it. But I was asked about the linen thread and the bows, um, that some people jokingly call Billy Bows and how I store my uh, linen thread. So I'm going to, I was just going to say hi because it's the new year and I'm going to try to get more videos done this year for you. <clears throat> but I'm going to turn you down towards the table now so I can show you. Um, here are, don't get sick while you go down. Um, here are some cards that have the linen bows on them, which I love linen thread and I use it all the time on my projects. And um, from little ones to these big ones that they jokingly call Billy bows. So I was gonna show you here, I show this quite often in my photographs. This little, it's a cheese grater, really, that you can get at the dollar store. And um, here's the linen thread. I just bought one of these uh, spools at the big box store, I don't know, Michael's Hobby Lobby, and I wind my linen thread around that and just drop it in here and pull it through the top, and I keep this out on my table because I use it so often, and it just makes it really easy to dispense what you need, and it's, it's handy to have on your table, so if that's a little tip for storage for you, great. And the reason I do that, this is how I store my package linen thread. It's in one of the small boxes, and um, I have all my embellishments stored like this. But the reason that I do this in the grater is because when you open your linen thread straight out of here, if you use it straight off of the um, out of the package, it has, um, you know, it has these pieces here that have a kink in it and it shows up in your bows and instead of having a nice rounded edge they have this this right here and if you store it on the spool that comes out of it so that's the reason that I store it that way other than being handy now I thought real quick while we were sitting here I would just show you a couple of things because I get so many requests for this for this bow you um Wrap it around two fingers very loosely three times, and then you wrap it around three fingers three times, and then four fingers. Now, you could stop right here if you just need a little bow. <clears throat> stop with the two fingers, and you'll have a smaller bow because you don't always need a great big bow. So, you could stop right here, or you can go on and make the bigger bow. So I would cut that off. Then when you take it off your fingers, you can see the three distinct sizes. Pull it all to the center, just like that. Twist it. So I'm just holding it in the middle there and see I can get my thread out so easily. And then wrap another piece of linen thread around that. Um, four or five times, whatever you have off there. And um, tie it really securely in a knot because you're gonna be uh, pulling and tugging on it to get the shape that you want. So just tie that in a knot. Let me get one going here. I usually tie it in a double knot really tight. And at this point, you can move your loops any way you want. I try to get the smaller ones, Sam, and just pull them apart first, and then the bigger ones down to the bottom, and pull these all apart. You get kind of a, I don't know, a butterfly shape maybe you would call it. And here's these little ones on this side. You can just fuss with it and pull it, just like that. And the ends I like, I usually leave all the ends, the squirrely ends out, just like that. If they come off my card, then I'll trim them just like that. So there's the shape you kind of get, and then just stick it down with a, a glue dot. 
So I just thought that would help you if you get the kinks in your linen thread and it, it ruins your bow for you. Just store it on a spool in a cheese grater and it'll be handy for whenever you want to use it. And maybe you'll give that bow a try. Thanks for stopping in today and I hope your new year is starting off great. I'll talk to you again soon.